In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic 2D character right inside of Adobe Photoshop. And then we're going to take that 2D character and we're going to animate it right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into today's video. So we're going to start inside of Adobe Photoshop. And to begin, we just want to start by unlocking the background. So we'll just press the padlock icon and then we're just going to create a background. So I'm going to go to the gradient tool. And then we'll just change the color of the left and right of this line here. So the left, I'm going to change this to a nice yellow. And then we'll go over to the right and we'll change this to yellow as well, but we'll make this a slightly darker yellow. Now I'm just going to draw a line across the center of the canvas. And as you can see, we've got a really awesome gradient background applied. Now from here, we're just going to padlock the background. So we're just going to press that padlock icon and we'll go up into layer, new layer. And inside of new layer, we can rename this to body. Now we're going to go over to the left side of Photoshop and you want to go ahead and select the pen tool. Now you can change the fill and the stroke. I'm going to change the fill to blue and we'll change the stroke to no stroke. Now you can go ahead and draw the body of your character, but I want to create a circle for the body. So we'll go over to the ellipse tool We'll select the ellipse tool and we'll draw a circle holding shift on your keyboard and we'll just draw out that circle. Now we'll change the fill color of this to a nicer blue and then we'll just center that up. Now from here we can carry on with the other body parts. So we'll go up into layer, new layer. And we'll rename this layer to left arm. We'll press OK on that. We'll go down to the line tool. And then making sure that the color is the same as the body, we'll just go ahead and we'll draw a line on the left of the body. Now from here, we'll go ahead and create another brand new layer. So layer, new layer, rename this to right arm. And we'll do the same thing again. We'll press the line tool and we'll draw an arm on the right of the body. Now we'll back up into layer, new layer. We'll rename this to left leg press OK. We'll go to the line tool once more and we'll draw a left leg. And then we're going to do that one more time. So layer, new layer, we'll rename this to right leg and then we'll draw the right leg just below the body. Now from here, I want to go ahead and create a face on this character. So I'm going to create an alien and I'm going to give this alien one eyeball. So again, layer, new layer, rename this to eye, change the color of the eye to white. So that's the fill color. And then just draw an ellipse in the middle of the character. Now I want to go ahead and create the inner eyeball. So go ahead and select layer, new layer, rename this to inner eye, change the fill color to black. And we're just going to draw a circle inside of the white circle. And there you go. This is really starting to come together. Now there's one more thing that we need to do to finish this character off and that is to create a mouth. So we'll go layer, new layer, rename this to mouth. And then we'll go ahead and find the curvature pen tool. Now we're going to slightly change the color of this blue. We want this to be very similar to the blue that we have, but we want this to be a slightly different shade of blue so that we'll see it against the blue body. Now we'll just zoom in and we'll just create three points and that's going to create a really awesome smile, but we're just going to get rid of the fill color and we're going to change the stroke color to that blue that we just selected. And there you go. We've got this really cute looking alien. It's really important that when you're creating a character inside of Adobe Photoshop, that each individual part of the character has its own layer. So the left arm, the right arm, both legs, the eyeball, the inner eyeball, and the mouth, and the body, they're all assigned to their own separate layer. And this is really important when we come to drop this into Adobe After Effects. Now from here, we need to go ahead and export this character and drop him into Adobe After Effects. So we're gonna go up into File, Save As, we'll change the format to Photoshop, and we can rename this to Alien, but feel free to rename it to whatever you like. Now from here, we're going to go into Adobe After Effects and we're going to drop that alien PSD file into After Effects. 
And then when you drop that file into After Effects, you will get this menu come up and you want to make sure that you select editable layer styles in the import kind composition. This is really important because this means all of the layers will import as a separate layer rather than a merged layer. This is really important. Now, if you double click on that alien composition, you can see all of those layers are now there. So to begin with the animating process, I'm just going to start by locking off the background. I don't want to adjust the background, so we'll press the padlock icon on After Effects. Now, from here, we're going to select one of the arms. So we're going to select the right arm and we're going to go up to the puppet tool. That's this pin on the top of After Effects. And we want to go ahead and we want to create three points on the arm. And these points are basically acting as joints. So you've got your shoulder, your elbow and your wrist there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do the same on the left arm. We'll create those three points. We've got shoulder, elbow and wrist. And now if I press the drop down arrow on the left and right arm, go into effects, go into puppet, mesh one, deform, we've got puppet one, puppet two, puppet three, and that's on both of those layers. So we're just gonna open up all of those. And as you can see, a new keyframe has been created at the very beginning. Now, in order to animate the character, we basically want to move forward in time. So we'll move forward two seconds to the right. And because we've created a keyframe at the very beginning, if we change the positioning of one of those points, the character will animate up to that point. So if you're familiar with adjusting keyframes to adjust position, scale or rotation, this is a very similar process. We're just adjusting the position of a specific point on the character. Now, two seconds into the video, I'm just going to adjust the positioning of those points on the left arm. And as you can see, if we play this back, we've got this really slow moving, really basic arm movement. The alien is putting up, the alien character is putting his arms above his head. But this is a little bit too slow, so we're just going to shorten the gap between those keyframes. So we're going to move on and add some extra movement to the right arm. So moving roughly half a second to the right, we're going to adjust the wrist position. So that is puppet pin three. We'll move it over to the right. We'll move over a second or half a second, move the position, move over another half second, move the position again. And we'll keep doing this process over and over again and keep creating some different animation points for this character. Now we're just going to match the movement from the right arm to the left arm. So every time there is a keyframe on the right arm, we're going to move the position of the wrist, that's puppet pin three, on the left arm. And as you can see, if we play this back, we've got this really basic arm movement so the alien is putting his arms above his head and wiggling them from left to right. Now if we select all of those keyframes, right click on one of those keyframes, go into keyframe assistant and select easy ease, it's going to change the animation style of that movement. So it's a little bit more natural rather than just hard keyframes. So we'll do the same on the left as well as the right. And as you can see we've got this really smooth movement from the character. Now the movement that we just created on the arms was a very basic and very simple animation. Of course you're welcome to do whatever you like with this. And of course you can add the same points to the legs and do similar leg movements. All you have to do is select the puppet tool, create those points and animate those points over time. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to animate the eyeball. So we want to make sure that the eye and the inner eye are connected. We want to make sure that they move at the same time. So in order to do this we need to create a brand new null object. So we'll go layer, new, null object. We can rename the null object to eye null if you want, if you want to make things easier for yourself. And we'll drag that on top of the eye. Now we'll select inner eye and eye, and we'll use the pip whip tool and drag that onto the eye null. And this basically means when we adjust the position, the scale, the rotation, move something on the null object, it will affect both the inner eye and the eye itself. Now I'm going to move roughly one second into our video so the arms have gone up, they've wiggled around a little bit and I'm going to press P on the keyboard to load position. Now we'll create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon, move roughly half a second to the right 
and we'll change the position of the null object to move to the right. Another half second to the right and we'll create a brand new keyframe. Move another half second to the right and we'll adjust the position of the null object back over to the left. And as you can see, we've got this really basic eye movement. I'm going to take this one step further though by adding a little bit of extra movement to the inner eyeball. So select the inner eye and create a brand new keyframe on position at the same point of the first keyframe on the null object. So press the stopwatch icon to create the keyframe. Move to the second keyframe on the null object and we're going to move the position of the inner eye over to the right just a little bit. Move to that third keyframe, create a brand new keyframe. Move to the last keyframe and we're just going to pull the position back over to the left. So as you can see, the whole eye is moving, but the inner eye is also moving on its own as well. And this is really helping to exaggerate that movement from the eyeball. Now, one last thing, we're just going to add some movement to the mouth. We're just going to make the alien smile. So select the mouth, go up to the puppet tool and create your points on the mouth. So we've got one, two, three, we've got three points on the mouth. Now we're going to go into effects, puppet, mesh one. And we've got puppet pin three, two, and one. Move roughly half a second to the right, and we're going to change the position of this mouth. And then we'll increase the height of the left and the right side of the mouth. So we're just going to move these up a little bit just to create a little bit of a smile. And there you go. Once you've added in all of your keyframes, you've animated your character to how you want it to look. You want to go ahead and add one more finishing touch and that is to add some motion blur. So hold command A, that will select everything. Press the motion blur box on one of the layers and then make sure motion blur is activated in your composition by selecting the motion blur button on the right. In After Effects 2019 that will automatically turn on but if you've got older software then you may have to turn this on. So make sure this motion blur box is blue. And there you go, once you've turned that motion blur on, you've added in all of your keyframes, you've added all of your puppet pins and everything. That is how you create and animate a character right inside of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.